Hello and welcome to a new video of this course and we have gone already through a lot and now we are moving to a new section which is the vSphere clusters. In this video we will be creating um, a, a brand new cluster using Terraform and in the next video we will be adding and joining new ASXi hosts to that, uh, to that cluster. Alright, so as usual yeah, let's go to our working directory and let's make... No, that's too much. And let's make a working directory for uh, the new lesson. So let me call it... 008... Um, create cluster. And as usual, I will be pushing this code. You, you will already find the code on, on GitHub in case you needed the code as a reference. Uh, to use. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the new directory and of course it's an empty one. We will be cheating by copying existing Terraform files from previous uh, previous uh, lessons and this is one of the great features of, of uh, Terraform. You don't need to uh, create everything from scratch. You just copy or clone the code and make the necessary changes according to your new deployment or whatever. Okay, I'm copying the data, the providers, the variables. We don't need the main, we will be creating a, a new one from scratch. But the common stuff are, yeah, in, in usually in data, providers, etc, etc. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. Let's clean up first the data that we do not, do not use in this lesson. We need the uh, data center. We do not need a data store, to be honest. We don't need a data class, a cluster because we are going to create a cluster in this video. No need for a network, no need for a VM. So only the V center, uh, the, the data center for now. And that will be uh, fair enough. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So where to get the code? As usual, let's go to Google and let's say Terraform code vSphere cluster. Yeah, it's already over there. Let's go to Terraform. Here we go. This is the provider's page and this is the reference page for the page for the codes and this is what concerns us here so I'm copying this and of course if you go through the argument references below you can find all of the different options that you can set to your cluster and let me remind you that of course you can import your existing clusters so you don't necessarily yeah if you're going to use Terraform, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're, go you you're going to deploy a f fresh and new uh, vSphere environment. You definitely have your your existing environment that you need to onboard it. So, of course, if we go down below here how to uh, import an existing cluster, you should find yeah the command yeah somewhere here at the bottom. Of the page, yeah. These are the example, the examples. You will figure out your way, and then yeah, how to import an existing cluster. But this is not within the scope of of this course. But you know how to. You can refer to our previous uh, lesson for importing the existing virtual machines, and it will guide you through how to uh, import the existing clusters, hosts, distributed switches, etc., etc. Okay, now I have the code. Let's create. Oh yeah, let's keep this open. Let's create a new main.tera file. Super. So here we go, and I don't need all of that information here for this for this lesson. I need just the block of code to create a cluster, and that's it. So the data center we don't need it because we already have it in our. Uh, data file uh, we will get to this in another um, in another session but here yeah using this block of code is to import 
or yeah, join existing ASXi hosts that are already added to your vCenter server, these will be added to the cluster. But in the scenarios that I will be doing in the lab, I will be creating a fresh cluster, a new cluster, brand new cluster. And the next lesson I will be adding ASXi hosts to vCenter and then add it to uh, the cluster. So all new new stuff. So let's see my uh, yeah. All right, here we go. This is my vCenter server, and now we have just one cluster. Forget about this. We don't have any other clusters for now. Let's go to the reference page just in case. So let's clean up the the code here, and let's keep only the one or the yeah bits that we need uh we don't need that because it's already identified in our data file we don't need the host at all so this is to to fetch data from existing sxi hosts and this is not our case at all okay let's go so here we go, this is the code and compute cluster, I will um, leave this as is for now, I don't need to put a label, I'm not interested honestly. And here, yeah, let's define a name for our cluster, I will put this in, in a variable, okay, so I will call this var dot var dot uh, terraform underscore cluster underscore name okay which is not yet declared so let's go to the variables file and let's define it and before we proceed with that let's clean up actually we don't we don't need any of these at all yeah from a previous lesson i need only the credentials here for my vcenter server authentication so yeah variable and the variable name is this, and the type, of course, string, and the default value, let's call it terraform dash cluster dash, yeah, dash cluster 04, for example, uh, 4, right? Let's save this file. Let's go back to main, and what should we adjust here? Okay, the data center ID, this is good. It will be fetched. The information will be obtained from this section over here, from the data.tf uh, file. Host system ID. So this this uh, argument here is used to, to add existing ASXi hosts to the cluster, and I'm not going to do this. So let's remove this for now. Okay, uh, DRS enabled, false. I will do this in a later session. No, false. Hey, false. Yep. DRS, um, yeah, automation, this is irrelevant for now. Let's just comment it just for now. now I will get back to this later on, okay? And again, the high availability also is set to false. Great. So this is done. The data is file. We need just to reference this. Let's check the uh, providers is fine. I just copied it, so I'm not really. I'm. I, yeah. I'm not in a doubt that it will work. It will definitely work. Main. Yeah. Nothing else here is missing. So let's try to. Yeah, now, as usual, initi initiate this new Terraform directory. And here I am. So. Terraform in it. Let's see if it goes as expected. Excellent. And let's perform a Terraform plan and see what happens. Uh, we have errors here, which is fine. Yeah, I needed to save the variables file, which is fine. Yeah, maybe I, I've made changes here without saving it. Now it's saved. So let's run the command once again to check if any. Uh, what is wrong here? Cluster 03 does not is not found. 
yeah, the, this all were and the data... Okay, let me just go through all of this and save. And also save that, we haven't made any changes here, but just in case... Run the plan once again and see. Yeah, excellent. So let me expand this here a little bit for you to see. Okay, so it's going to add, it's planning to add one, no changes, no deletions. And let's scroll up here. So it's going to create this cluster with all of these parameters here data center, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. DRS is false for now. Excellent. So let's run. The the let's apply the changes. Terraform apply apply and let's do it uh, auto um, approve. But again, using the auto approve parameter parameter is not advised at all in production at all. Not 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 advised. I'm just doing it in in uh, in the lab. So let's have all right. Let's go. What's going to happen? Let's check here. What's going on? And yeah, there we go. The cluster has been created. Excellent. So the cluster has been created. Nice. And with, of course, with, with the settings that the desired settings. So DRS is turned off. The high availability is still turned off, of course. All right, it was very, yeah, straightforward and easy to do. That's it for now, and yeah, in, in the next in the next video, I will be adding three SXI hosts to this new clusters, and these hosts are not yet added here to the joined to this vCenter server, so they will be automatically joined by Terraform and then added. Um, to the cluster. Yeah, that was it. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.